Okay, I'm going to check speaker set. Find this one. Okay, today we start to the part second part of this book, and and today is uh, talking about uh, chapter seven, photoactive, a uh, dandelion cyclist. And the first, uh, the first photoactive um, uh, dining cyclist AC is being found in, uh, in, in, in a progen uh, microbium, uh, also in the eye spot. And the findings in the paracosma and, uh, position that near, near the stigma. And also, I'm going to talk in about uh, some information of the structure. And the next, um, I will uh, write some examples that is being uh, mentioned in this chapter. So this uh, Euglean glycelis in is uh, is a uh, a uh, protozoa on a microbian, and today I'm going to focus this photoreceptor is located here, and we can see here that and it's very it's very close to the uh, uh, flagellum, so it's a functional. It's that the a blue light shining on this spot, and it will produce uh cyclic AMP. And the cycling AMP will the concentration is functional, um, also like a second messenger that uh, change the uh, cell's mobility uh, for change the motion of the um, flagellum. Um, in, in the last part of today's lecture, and I'm going to talking about that to apply this uh, not this, but it's still a PAC that the photoactive um, acetylene cyclase and still this AC, um, that's from bacterium, and it will change uh, the function of the sperm's movement. Very interesting experiment design. So first, this PAC gene is found in 2004, and it's finally find that after shining with the UVA um, light, and there's uh, some spot that can show an autofluorescent, and it's uh, shown in here. Also, we can see um, the photo that present from this book that this spot that is where the photoreceptor located. It's located in, in this area. And the chromophone is using, it's not like those channel rhodopsins or other rhodopsins that are using retina um, and those variants, the whole family of the variants, are using a, a very close to the Mm, like 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 a plant um, photosynthesis system that use F A F M M. So this so the chromophore is different, and the whole family is also called a uh, flavin. If um, some that are uh, absorbing blue light and um, change the green light. And if we change, like getting getting a proton, and you are absorbing green light and emit red light, and if you get a electron, 
lang absorbing UV lights and your emits on green lights. So and so of course it absorbed some photons, but it also were emit on another wavelengths of the light. Then we can see the structure that is present um, by our key in 2016. And it's per, uh, the structure is formed by a dimer. So it's called PAC alpha and PAC beta. So the lens is a slightly different between the alpha and the beta subunit. And the quantum efficiency of the photo transformation of beta is lower than the alpha. And the upper part in is the cyclist domain, and the lower part is the uh, bluff domain. Bluff domain is coming from the blue light using flavin, a dynamic dinucleotide. And it's this domain and the binding the chromophone, the FMM. In the uh, flop, Bluffing domain, there is a five stranded beta sheet flanked by helix. So, then here example, we can show that after shining with this blue light, um, the movement on um, this is like trans uh, transfect the C elegant with this PS, this PAC alpha, then on the motor neuron of the C elegant, then after shedding blue light, the, C, the whole C elegant movement is being changed. So that means that um, this shedding light, so it means that the, the PAC is working, that after shedding the light, it can increase uh, the neuron inside intracellular sacral AMP concentration then change the neurons excitability. Uh, this PAC has both uh, dark adapted state and light adapted state. There's a slightly different about the 10 nanometer uh, longer wavelengths um, difference between this dark adapted state that is shown here in the red, the red red line and the blue uh, line that shows the, oh, I think I make a mistake here is that the dark adapted state is red. Okay, I'm sorry. And I should change the here. I just change it. Yeah, and light is, there's a light activity. So there's a there's a, a slightly different um in the absorbing absorption spectrum of the PAC. On the binding side and uh, the bluffing domain, and we can see that um um the chromophone FM find um, a lot of um, interactions with the bluff domain is binding inside and as it shows a uh, um, very high interconnected uh, network, hydrogen bond network uh, between this chromophone and, uh, and the outside uh, the AC domain. So after absorbing the light, it will just change the conformation, but the chromophone will not be dissociated. On with this protein. So next step, uh, we're going to move on to see some very interesting applications of the PACs. The first, um, let me see uh, a paper that published in 2011, and it's related with the development that the girls call um, um, girls. So we are so um, on a textbook. We already know that that the neutron 
one is very important for a girl girls cons um um like it's it's close so what's the uh, uh core a uh, messenger for this movement is a sacred MP. So if like some somehow it will change, it will change uh, concentration, the subcellular concentration of sacred MP, and that might induce the growth uh, move, uh, the growth the direction. So in these studies, uh, basically, it's like they produce the producers, um, they say PAC on a close gross corn, and it was labeled on, and was linked with M cherry, and that was shown here. M cherry will be showing red, so the gross corn will be will be red, and the and the PAC, so stimulation light is the blue light. So shining a blue light, and we can see here, after shining a blue light, that's just the one side, instead of in shining just directly in the center, and the, the growth cones later, and it's about uh, one hour and a half, one hour and twenty minutes, and the grow, growth cones grow will grow like this direction. But if like across the, the center line, like shining light on on here, a growth cones um, were still stayed in its previous directions. The shining light outside and the growth cones were going there, but the shining light inside or oh, just in the as in the middle line, as the inside, just on top of the growth cones and there was no uh gross uh like a preference that to to either directions so this is a very interesting application and so far there are many pieces will be dis discovered for many microbial species and one of them that's a very attractive uh, scientists' um, curiosity is the BPAC that's from the Bejato. And because comparing the two, and the original find, the earliest find this EUPAC, and its protein size is smaller and has a lower dark activity and have a more higher light activity. And we can see that all these share the same, uh, like light response domain at the brain, and AC domain were the same. And this light light absorption on um, domains are the same. That's the blue light using a uh, flavin domain. And later we may talking about a CPAC. It's a uh, completely different uh, using a GF. GF is a bistable domain, so it will be activated by blue light, but inactivated by the green light. So it may be used. It may be like very uh, useful in some situations. So now let's look at. So this article like apply this like let me see yes they discovered this cpac and it has a several domains and is um find in this microcurus pcc 7113 and i go through the whole the whole completed genome and i uh, I find very interesting is that at the several different locations of the genomes, um, it has this domain. That's the GIF domain that's very close to a cyclase um, domain. Uh, either like a, so very close uh, like this, or have a PAS domain and then several repeat, then also linked with um, CYC domain. I think it's quite interesting. 
because in such a, a small creature and has a several locations that have this cyclase genome. Um, oh, okay. So this article is also very um, attractive because there you see this is a BPAC, but with a different targeting sequence and in different subcellular location. And I can determine like, like I'm targeting to the plasma membrane and targeting into endosome and then targeting to the, to the cytosol. Um, and talking to, to everywhere, so so anywhere, then the subcellular uh, concentration of cyclo MP will be increased. So, and that then, then, then they were linked to another, uh, another like a kinase function, and we know that we'll be know that, um, that kinase will be affected by by the the cycling AMP on um, and from where, um, because cycling AMP is quite like a subcellular, quite um highly like localized, right? Um, because there are a lot of like uh, phosphate diesterase located nearby, and, and those signals will be located in in some specific subcellular locations. So this this um targeted sequence, and um, I know that I mean like uh specifically like increase uh some specific areas on a sacred MP concentration and then to see the cells reaction then we'll know that which part uh the signal is like related to some other specific uh, function of other proteins so this is is the sperms the movement that be controlled by let's see uh the saccharin mp first let's take a look at this video so that's in the resting state and after shedding the uv light the sperms tell the star to move to, um, very fast so that means that this is sperm's and tail's movement is determined by the concentration of the cycle MP. And this sperm is from, um, it's from animal, it's a transgenic mice, and it has, uh, it has this BPAC um, um, expression. So after just need to shine in the light, you want you will control uh, the movement of the sperm. And also an, another, the last article that I think is very interesting is that this, this uh, photoactivated cyclase being fused with um, CNG, CNG channels. So the general idea is like this, that's linked on with, with on YFP and this BPAC. And it can circulate, it can change the ATP to circulate AMP. And circulate AMP can open these CNG channels. Um, we'll change it, we'll change the uh, cell permeability um, of the calcium and sodium. And exactly in the same paper, in another figure, I'm not going to present here, is that it linked to, to a potassium potassium channel to show that, um, so this this like photoactive uh, dendrin cyclase can um can linked and successfully um opened the CNG channels, but oh. And they also show that this system can be expressed in radical hippocampal cells, 
but I still think that it's because since these channels are on a cell membrane, but from this image, you can see there's a lot of in the um, um, expression in the endosome. So I don't think that is, is this is expression is very good. But since it works, so it's still like it's a very um, promising like a strategy um, to use as a as an optogenetic optogenetic toolbox. But the second MB is universal second messenger that involved in wide variety of biology uh, process like like learning, um, like cell mobility, um, like some very like an um, acute reaction, on uh, signaling, and information processing. It, it's involved a lot of things. Um, also, oh, also like a gene expression and something. So like a subcellular, like a moderation of the cyclone AMP will be more important. So it's like we mentioned in the previous uh, article that it used the subcellular targeting sequence. That quite, might be quite important. Another is combined with light dependent photo for SRS, and that's already been published in 2017. Um, this, 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 this is that one that is handy. So maybe another thing I'm thinking a lot like by spot, by stable like activation, this PAC could be also um, a second choice. Okay, so start from today's lecture, I'm going to like pick a sentence um, from this chapter uh, as a quotation from the author. And here it's very lucky that this chapter, at the end of this chapter, we also pick a by themselves and it's a study nature notebooks. I think it's quite, yes, study nature is very interesting. And this is a reference I cited today. And thank you all. Thank you.